speaking of the future and key topics that will impact the profession, we have spent quite a bit of time recently talking about social and informal learning. These continue to be among the hottest topics in the profession today. How many of you have started to implement social learning? Awesome. Congratulations. In the time we have together today, I'd like to extend that conversation into M-learning or mobile learning. Today, I'd like to consider the following questions related to M-learning. What exactly is mobile learning or M-learning? Number two, why mobile? Why now? Number three, where does M-learning have its, its biggest impact? And number four, how can we get started with M-learning? Do you feel you need to be a technologist to work in the learning field? Not only do we need to keep pace with the continual evolution of technology, but more importantly, we have to know how to apply it to drive performance. We intuitively understand that with each introduction of new technology, the way that people connect with the world and obtain information and skills evolves. Mobile learning is the latest emerging trend along this technology and learning evolutionary timeline. When we asked about definitions of M-learning, Rebecca Clark from DAU talked about the relationship between the device and the individual. Dottie Brienza from Hilton described it as learning on the go and learning everywhere. Anything that allows you to move and learn at the same time. Clark Quinn calls it augmented performance. He says that it accessorizes your brain and that it's something you have with you all the time. So what makes M-learning so compelling? How many of you own a smartphone? Don't be shy. <laughs> How many of you own a tablet? OK, that's most of you. Let's try this. How many of you own a basic cell phone, no features? Please keep your hands up. Then drop them if you own a tablet or an iPod Touch. Do we have this on film? If you're next to them, help them. We have to help them. <laughs> Any idea how many mobile devices were sold in 2010? According to Gartner, mobile device sales to end users reached 1.6 billion units in 2010. Of those, 297 million were smartphones. So you're not alone in case you were really wondering. Smartphone sales grew 172 million from 2009, which is 73% year-over-year growth. Tablets, driven by the iPad, have changed the landscape. We keep hearing from technology company CEOs blaming the iPad for cannibalizing their computer sales. According to Gartner, worldwide sales of tablets will jump from 19.5 million in 2010 to 208 million units in 2014. And it's not just Apple's iOS. Google's Android, according to Gartner, grew 888.8% in 2010. And what's the global population? As of May 18th, a few days ago, it was 6.9 billion people. Guess how many are mobile subscribers per Gartner? 5.3 billion. Of those, 23% are smartphones, and they're clearly growing. Some fun stats from Wikipedia. This one's easy. The country with the most mobile phones, China, right? 879 million. Impressive, but that's only 64% of the country's population. Who's here from Russia? Try this number. The number of mobile phones in Russia, 221 million. What's the population of Russia? Roughly 143 million. <laughs> For every person in Russia, one and a half phones have been sold. Now that's commitment. <laughs> M-learning is clearly very compelling. What we are seeing, and I think this is a very important component, is a lifestyle change. And technology is enabling our need to be mobile. As Dottie said, we want to ensure that learning matches our lifestyle. We know that people are collaborating and sharing on these devices. Are they learning on them? Of course. Is the profession leading the way 
by delivering learning on these, these devices? In some cases, yes. But in most cases, no. You can change this. In ASTD's just released research report on mobile learning, only 15% of the respondents reported that their organizations were using mobile learning. According to ASTD's research partner, I4CP, the use of mobile learning had one of the highest correlations with market performance and the highest correlation with effective instructional design. I see those overachieving 15% in this audience today. But why is this number so low? I think part of the problem is a lack of understanding of the potential of mobile learning as well as where it is having its greatest impact. Let's finish by talking about how we can get started. Number one, start slowly, but start. Number two, identify a targeted pilot program. Call it an experiment. Sales is often a really great place for this. Number three, be mindful of the platform and its impact on design. Are you designing for a phone or for a tablet, for as, an, as an example? Number four, build capability. For salespeople, you might want to offer resources from your top sales performers. For service staff, you could create easily accessible documentation libraries. Hilton is using it for leadership development. Number five, engage IT. You have to make a decision if you're going to develop in-house or if you're going to outsource. And you absolutely need their help with security. Number six, set targets and evaluate against those targets to demonstrate success. And number seven, absolutely have fun because there's never been a better time to be in learning. And by learning, I mean all of learning. Formal, informal, social, mobile, let's just call it learning. I believe that you have one of the best and the most important jobs in the world. What makes a company better than its peers? Is it technology, marketing, finance, legal? No way. What makes a company better is its people. And each of you in this room is entrusted with the most important and the most valuable organizational resource, its people. If you're new to mobile learning, as the data tells us, you're not alone. Only 10% of the respondents in ASD's research report said that they were developing M-learning applications in their organization. 41% said that they were considering it. It's still early, and you are ahead of the curve, but it's moving fast. ASTD and others are focused on helping you succeed. All you need is the courage to begin.